Welcome to Sir Citizen and a joystick and hotels guide. Since Star Citizen claims to be a comprehensive flight simulation, which offers extensive possibilities not only in atmospheric flight, but also in space, we also have extensive possibilities for the control. Therefore, in this guide we go into different possibilities, as well as our tips and tricks, how you can set up and use your joystick, a HOTAS system, a dual stick configuration or completely different combinations from all manufacturers. Besides different free tools, which can save you some nerves and problems, you will find in the video description also all links, as well as downloads, which are addressed in the guide. And directly at this point, a thank you to our control expert Robert G for the professional support. Set the order of your input devices permanently. With the free tool Dev Reorder, you get a small and very useful tool, which allows you to bring the input devices recognized by Star Citizen in a fixed order, and thus a change of this order and the associated problems with the control to eliminate. After the download, we unpack the zip file and find here again two folders: a configuration file and an execute table file. When running the device lister, a warning message appears through Windows, because it is an uncertified application, which can be started, however, without any danger about further information and then run. We could not detect any data transfer or malware. By opening the file DevRiona, we come into the setting possibilities of the small tool, whereby we will need the provided data from the device list application which shows us all connected and recognized input devices equal. So that Star Citizen can also process our following settings, we copy the file DevRiorder into our game directory under Star Citizen and there under Live. The following we enter the desired order of our input devices, either by the device name or the ID in the DevRiorder file. And to correct our swapped input devices in the game without def reorder, I recommend this console command, which you can also find in the video description. A permanent solution is only def reorder. If you get additional input devices like gamepads, additional keyboards or mice, you can ignore them and concentrate only on your joysticks, hotas or pedals and so on. The last step, copy the file die input 8 dll from the x74 folder to the folder bin46 in your Star Citizen Live directory. And with the next start of the game, your previously defined order is also taken over and above all permanently fixed. You can check this by calling the console, the bottom to the left of the one and this command directly in the game. And don't worry, this is not an unwanted intervention in game files by CIG. Alternatively, you can of course also manually swap your input devices each time using the previously mentioned console command. Invert the different movement axes. At the first start of the game, or a reconfiguration, we jump into the options menu under key bindings, where we have to switch to joystick hotas at the bottom right, to make settings for this as well. And here we recommend first to clean up the settings for strafe and throttle, first with a click on the option and the delete by a right click. Because, especially for controlling our thrust forward and backward, as well as the lateral 360 degree movements, it makes sense to use our thrust controllers and additional control crosses. However, problems regularly lurk here, which we look at directly in the game after the first basic setting. We first assign corresponding joystick axes for the thrust, and as well the 360 degrees movements. And at this point again the hind, when configuring your joystick or HOTA system, check on the right below if you are also in the corresponding settings level and here joystick HOTAS is written. During our first test we are disillusioned, if we want to fly left, we fly right, if we want to fly up, we fly down and if we give thrust forward, we fly backwards. But don't worry, there is a simple remedy for this, that is inverting our control axis. 
And after we want to carry out this inversion completely, we go first again right down on joystick hotes into the key bindings and assign also the last control axis in order to have fixed strafe up and down, strafe left and right as well as throttle forward and back. After we have assigned all axes, we go again into the game, whereby generally for the configuration of the Arena Commander, free flight mode is very suitable, since you can carry out here alone and undisturbed all settings. But now we come to the inversion of your axis. In the options menu and not under the key bindings as before, but under the controls we find this option. Make sure you choose the right joystick, because the order we defined in the previous step counts here. If we have set our HOTUS as the second input device, we also select joystick 2 to set the inversion for the correct device. Once we have selected the correct device, we can access the settings which can be found in the upper left corner under inversion settings and can be opened by clicking on the plus sign. In the following menu, on the flight, flight movement, we find all axes and options which we can invert. Here we now enter the option yes for strafe up and down as well as thrust forward and back. And with these last settings we have adjusted our control accordingly and can jump back directly in the game and test our controls. You now have the corresponding movement when pushing to the left or forward. The alternative assignment of your buttons via the joystick mapper. With another free tool, the Star Citizen Joystick Mapper, you can set all control options outside of the game and after configure them, simply import them as a profile into your game. The advantage is that you have all buttons clearly displayed and can use a direct import and export function. You also get a step-by-step -step guide. Create, export and import profiles. Your profiles, which you have created either directly in the game or via tools, can be found under your installation directory, Robot Space Industries, Star Citizen, Live, User, Client, Zero, Profiles and Default. You can edit these files directly via an XML editor, where only options are displayed that divide from the default and were otherwise assigned by you. To save your control profile or to import an external profile, you go into the game under the key bindings, select here again joystick hotas and can select under control profiles from the drop down menu existing profiles or under save control settings create your own profiles. We create our test profile which was configured for Thrustmaster T16 and save it. Under our installation directory, under the folder Controls Mappings, we finally find this exported profile. And since there are many different joysticks and systems on the market, we have complied the official manual from CIG, various profiles, a fillable graphical PDF for planning your configuration, which you can also download for free. Thanks goes to the Spectrum user Alvehenia. I hope this is correct. And if you have created a profile that you would like to share with other citizens, be sure to check out our Discord. Control profiles for all kinds of devices and setups are available here. Editing imported profiles If you have chosen an imported profile, you will often find an overview for the keys and function assigned to it in a control PDF. However, you can of course further customize and modify finished profiles according to your wishes. Via the settings in the game, after you have selected a respective profile under Control Profiles. VJoy and Joystick Gremlin For these two tools, the Quick Start Guide is recommended, in which you find not only the download links to both, but also the order and most important notes on installation. Because with VJoy and finally Joystick Gremlin, you get the most extensive possibilities to adjust really everything which concerns your control desires. 
VJoy creates several virtual joysticks which you can customize and modify with Joystick Gremlin through your control devices very extensively. So you have among other things hundreds of virtual buttons which can be combined arbitrarily and provide with macros and additional functions. When installing and configuring, pay attention to the instructions in the manual, whereby you should among other things remove your joysticks during installation. And since the possibilities seem almost unlimited, we recommend especially for joystick beginners only after some experience to fall back on virtual joysticks and the gremlin. And if you have any questions about joysticks, hotas or dual stick configurations, feel free to post them below the video or check out our Discord. Also other hardware streams with special topics where we can answer your questions are of course possible. And if you have detailed questions, or you are already a professional in this area, you will find that the Royal Retirement launched some adequate contacts with which you can exchange. But what other control possibilities do you use? Voice attack? Game glass? Other possibilities? Let me know with pleasure! I, for my part, will definitely try one or two rounds with a joystick, since I'm still attached to the mouse and keyboard. In the Arena Commander and the new Dual Mode, it's a good idea to use a joystick, as I had to find out painfully against Robert G. Ouch! I hope you liked the video and leave me a like or even a subscribe here. Star Citizen offers a lot of control possibilities, but of course the flight system is not final yet. However, the combination of different trackers, for example a Tobii Eye Tracker, Game Glass, different hardware setups, up to the standard mouse and keyboard control is well implemented and expect for a native virtual reality support, no big wishes are open so far. But what is your opinion? Is there anything missing? Do you have any suggestions for improvement? And what do you use? The most important as always in the end, a big thank you to all Patreons, channel members, Twitch subscribers, without you the whole thing would not be possible in this form and you are a really strong motivation. Thank you for your support, you rock! And of course there will be extensive giveaways, ships, vehicles and more, on YouTube, in the Twitch livestreams, in Discord. For members of the Royal Retirement Launch and an extra giveaway for Patreons, you can find out how you participate in the announcement trailer here in the channel. I say goodbye until next time, see you soon and I say as always, see you in the verse.